Hello everybody, I'm Misa Nares. This is my digital space. I hope you'll, ooh, too much sun. I hope you'll enjoy. So we are in my kind of messy kitchen because I am tending to the whole house by myself. But I need to make dinner on the fly. It is 4.15 and I just wanna get food out of the way so that I don't have to deal with it later so that I can focus on work. And so that I can put this episode out on time because I'm shooting same day as publishing. But basically we are going to make rice, some roasted veggies, some sauteed veggies, and then, you know, the protein. So I'm gonna be having fish. My dad and my siblings are gonna be having um, pork, but I'm gonna be having fish with my mom. So we are just preparing something easy, something light, you know, something for the summertime. <laughs> From the perspective of seasonings, we're gonna keep it easy. We've got some black pepper, Italian herbs, but these are almost done, so I'm gonna supplement with some mixed herbs. Some chili explosion and some spice for fish. Ignore this creamy tomato soup, that's for another time. Some brown and spirit vinegar, some vegetable spice per usual. I think I'm gonna make use of this Italian salad dressing, but I'm not sure. Here's my new favorite thing, spice for rice. Obviously speaking, I'm not gonna make the rice on camera because you guys know how to make rice by now. Add a little bit of this in there and it just tastes, wow, chef's kiss. I've got our pork here, it's been thawed. Our fish has also been thawed. This is fish from a box. If I had the box, I would tell you what fish it is, but because I don't, we're gonna do without. Oh, I almost forgot. Got some garlic, some crushed garlic. Um, I am gonna also use, this is such a vloggy vlog. I'm also gonna use some actual crushed garlic and those are the ingredients for today I think if we add some more you guys will see well these are the seasoning ingredients I'll get to the veg shortly so annoyed you guys missed all of that but basically I mixed all of my seasonings in with a little bit of commentary you know me and let's just grab a whisk this is like you know that drawer in everyone's house that looks a mess well we have one in the kitchen <laughs> but just gonna mix this together. I really almost wish that I had a ranch, but I could add in a little bit of yogurt to thicken this. But I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary. Let's not do the most, but I want to. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Let me get some yogurt. So instead, I found some mayo. I just got some mayo. It's canola mayo, thick and creamy from Be Well. So I just wanna take like a sizable scoop. Cause remember, this is gonna go into both, um, into both thingy thingies, onto both the pork and the fish. Yeah, I like that consistency. I really like this consistency in comparison. just gonna add in a bit of this well a lot of that and the remainder will be for the fish I know it seems like very little but I mean fish is it, this fish is not gonna you know it's not gonna struggle for seasoning um, just gonna add that in so first you wanna just like Make sure all of your pieces are coated. Obviously, I did not wash my hands on camera, but I did wash my hands because you know I'm not a savage. But make sure that your hands are clean when you do this process. If I had my longer nails, I would be wearing gloves because there's nothing worse than getting meat stuff and seasoning what's underneath your nails. It's just nasty for me. And it's not that it's disgusting because it's unclean, but it's disgusting because I just don't like the texture. <laughs> like I'm even struggling with this texture. Okay. And then, ooh, I feel like I'm gonna break these pieces because this machine, this little bowl is a bit tiny for what I'm doing. But basically you just wanna like coat it. Make sure everything gets, make sure everything gets some seasoning, some marinade, you know, simple stuff. <laughs> And then I'm gonna add on my spice, my spice for fish. 
And then we're gonna just pop both these things in the oven. My thing recently, I like putting wax paper on because it means clean up, even though the convection oven is usually like pretty easy to clean up. It just means clean up is easier. So I'm gonna add in my little pieces. This is gonna be very white, neat, <laughs> because of the way this thing is seasoned. Like it's not gonna be brown. I don't know, who else doesn't like brown food all the time. So this is obviously going to be packed quite tight because, um, well, there isn't a whole lot of space in here. So we're going to have to rotate some things as we go on, but not bad still. That's the setup. And we're going to put it in for a bit. I need to wash this hand before I touch anything else. Okay, I set that to about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Celsius. I know I'm going to have to come back, but it's fine. Then I put those two pieces of fish in by their lonesome. I want to cook this on lower heat. So I'm thinking like 180 degrees, something like that. Maybe even 200 or like 185 or 190, whatever. And then, yeah, we'll just see. Now it's time for the fun part. So... We've got some veggies. What vegetables are we gonna make? Hi, Key. I wanna roast some butternut. And I low key wanna add some tomato carrots in, but I know these knuckleheads aren't gonna eat them. <gasps> oh no, I just found a butternut that went off because no one used it. Can you throw this away, baby? It's nasty. Okay. Don't forget to use all of your veg, your veg guys. It does go off. <laughs> um, hmm. I bought some asparagus. I know some people don't like asparagus. I love asparagus. But asparagus for me, we can roast it. It's a pretty decent setup. I know my dad won't eat this. It'll be for me and mom, really. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna set it up. And now onto the vegetables. I have chopped up some beetroot, some asparagus, and some butternut. We're gonna put them in this bowl, add a few seasoning, shake seasonings. You see my hands, <laughs> shake it a bit up. Shake it up a bit, wow, English, and then we're going to put it into the oven. Keeping it simple, a little bit of oil and some vegetable spice, and you're gonna see some of the redness from where I was peeling the beets. But yeah, this is all gonna get mixed up together. Just like this. We're gonna shake it up. I might need to add a little bit more, but we'll see. All right, so I just took off my fish and I replaced the wax paper. Now we're going to add my veggies. I try not to use too much oil. I did end up having to go back in and add some oil and some seasoning. But hopefully, um, won't be, no one likes like oily roasted veggies or too, roast, uh, uh, too salty roasted veg. Okay, let me just wash my hands real quick, or rinse them rather. Here's a nice little view of some eggs. <laughs> All right. Our oven is still hot from when we had fish in there. Ooh. But that's the view. That's the view, basically. I'm gonna raise this heat. And I'm gonna leave that. Oh my goodness, this the whole thing didn't record. Jeez, okay, so you're gonna put your roasted veggies in. And then my rice is almost done. I'm just waiting for all of the water to reduce. Um, I had to add an extra 20 minutes on my pork. And I took my fish out. I took my fish out already. So that's sitting and ready to be eaten and munched on. I really thought I would saute some vegetables, but I feel like that's unnecessary, especially given the fact that the rice is seasoned. So I'm gonna put this garlic away, this big, bombastic garlic there's no need for it and yeah I'm just waiting for everything to be done 
Then I will serve dinner around about six o'clock. I know my plating sucks per usual, but eating from a bowl just is comforting for me. So that's dinner. Yeah, that's dinner. Anyway, friends, I've served the whole family. My night is done. Okay, my night is done. Do I have some food on my feet? Wow. <laughs> anyway, friends, my night is done. I fed my family. I am gonna enjoy my dinner. All right? All right. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Misa Narrates. This is my digital space. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, you should watch something else. Because I think there's more to enjoy. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye!